So we have the meeting that the whole world is watching. And I believe this is by design, right? We see these uh, two world leaders coming together, and there is the real agenda, and then there's the agenda that is there for the masses. There's also a lot of confusion. There's also a lot of political infighting and a lot of confusion as to uh, you know how the United States and Russia may actually already be interlocked. A lot of people aren't really looking in that direction. They're, they're looking at the official story. And so according to the official story, as we approach the global conflict, here's what it says. Trump sides with Russia against FBI at this summit. And again, all eyes on the summit. U.S. President Donald Trump has defended Russia over claims of interference in the 2016 presidential election. Hitting pause, also taking a look at this famous, famous handshake. Also, soccer references to being on the same team. Referencing something that I wrote back in September 2016, Trump selected 2016 and uh, World War III with China and Russia. He is a selection. And again, if you're not already on the newsletter, check out alexhansry.tv. Sign up. Also, simple ways to donate for $5 a month for those that don't know that this option is there. So this hasn't gotten a lot of uh, attention. A lot of people haven't read it. But I talked about how I felt that Hillary Clinton was, by design, right, throwing the fight. Okay? And, uh, you know, this whole marginalization of elements of alternative media as alt-right helped bring it to popularity, even dropping the name of Alex Jones. All of this was controlled opposition. Uh, this is important. People forget this. The connection between uh, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, a lot of people just don't want to know. They don't want to hear about it anymore. They, they've made up their mind. They really believe that they were really running against each other. You know, a lot of people, uh, they don't have a lot of problems with uh, this guy, this individual, right? Even though they really, really don't like her. And I'm not a fan of her. I'm just saying, if they really, really don't like her, you'd think this would have set off some alarm bells, just to a certain degree. Because the, the question is, to what degree are both the United States and Russia working together within the one world order plot to stage a global conflict and then come out the other side with this problem reaction solution. Uh, I don't think it's difficult to see that in play. Okay, so so this is something that I put into writing. I'm not going to go into all this. Cash flowed to Clinton Foundation amid Russian uranium deal. These are all things to consider. Uh, continuing on here, you know, and, and referencing this as something akin to the WWE, right? The stare down. And people believing that's real. There are real tensions there. Oh, real tensions there. Yeah, I'm real convinced. You know, to some of us, we just look at body language. To some of us, it's just a sense. You know, I, I can't prove it to you what I feel, what I'm sensing. It's my senses, and I have the freedom of speech to share with you what I'm sensing here on YouTube today. Thanks for tuning in. And you're going to hear other people like try to steer you in a different direction. Some people have been misleading for over 10 years, and we can actually see the evidence. The fruit, if you will, uh, of their disinformation. Particular individuals have been playing up a narrative that they almost went to blows. In reality, this particular individual, Barack Obama, has helped China and Russia surpass in many, many ways. That alone should be a book or a documentary film instead of something just sensationalizing something. Because there's corruption in each presidential administration. Donald Trump is in no way a member of the truth movement. The recent endorsement by Alex Jones. Again, I wrote this back in 2012. Told us more about the new Alex Jones. New Vogue Alex Jones. The Oprah version. Oprah Winfrey version of Alex Jones. And who he's actually serving. Rather than proving and documenting with facts that Donald Trump is a man of truth, honor, or integrity. And, and if you want a real laugh, right? The fact they try to... They try to market Trump as someone that wants the truth about that particular day that we know, if we discuss it, it's flagged, 9-11.
And yet a lot of people that support Donald Trump, they're not into asking questions. I've never seen them about 9-11. They're not down with that. And they certainly don't feel that Alex Jones is a hypocrite for being like a 9-11 documentary filmmaker and now being like their cheerleader. There's like no no beef with that. Are they just unaware? Sometimes I like to strap some of these guys down to a chair no, not nicely and just go watch. This is Alex Jones bullhorning. 9-11 was a dot, dot, dot. Did you hear that? Did you see that? No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't. Give me back the remote control. Watch this. This is Trump's bro. So are you down with wanting to know about 911 or are you part of the whole no, let, da, 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 da. the reincarnated neocon agenda vibrational frequency that uh what wasn't so overt during Obama although it was the same war machine they just couldn't get down with Obama. I thought Obama was coming in trying to help the black man out. When Obama was still serving the new world order. Obama wasn't doing things to try to help out particular groups. There is no trying to help out a particular group when you're part of the NWO. It's about the NWO. There are people that tell you disinformation on the internet about what the NWO is all about and what a globalist is. So I'm not going to go on and on with that, but this is what we're seeing now as we build up to this conflict is the show that's being presented to the American people. And uh, the real reality is something that is, uh, is difficult to explain to people. You know, the, the very likelihood that the world leaders have already planned out this conflict way in advance. And some of the things that people think are wild card moves aren't wild card moves. Everything has its place on the chessboard. Everything has its place on the timeline. I'm not here to try to try to explain or prove everything to you or try to convince you of, of my way of thinking. But have we been divided in a great, great way over whether someone believes that this president has brought change we can believe in and make America great again? I know people don't like it when I mix slogans. Too bad. It's just different versions of the same cola. The people need to come together and see this. I've been talking about Vladimir Putin as being some sort of agent of, of international influence over the alternative media for over 10 years now. When we saw our own countrymen and women going on RT, I mean, that was the flag of all flags. And I talked about it on my cable access show in 2009. The mainstream media wasn't discussing that then. Obama was coming in as the president. There were other things that were on the forefront. And people were like, oh, my God, Abby Martin on, on RT. RT is so great. It's Russia. And I'm like, wait a minute. This is part of a psyops. And look at Alex Jones with Russia. Now look at RT. Now look at RT. And I'm not saying that there aren't decent reports, right? But RT now is highlighting Donald Trump's dirt. You see, primarily as Trump was coming up, they were playing both sides but mostly Hillary's emails and that just particular version. But see, now as America is angry and there are allegations of, uh, you know, as many of you know, racism under every carpet, every corner. And see, watch RT play that up. Things that make you go, hmm, look at RT's content a few years ago. So on one level, they have consistently been playing up and shining the spotlight on US corruption throughout the administrations. But it is part of a larger um, demonization campaign of the U.S. system. I'm not saying our system something to brag about. I'm saying that America has been destroyed from within. Every mistake Donald Trump is perceivably making, right, where there's controversy, things he tweets about, are all deliberate things that he is knowingly doing, including him and others that have retweeted disinformation on Twitter so the media can, can bring that out, right? That's not an accident. Their posts aren't accidents. They know what they're doing. Anyone who's in a position to even run and be at that level, right, should have more common sense. So all of the things that are seen as slip-ups, right, by Trump or in the past by Barack Obama or in the past, no one really agreed with me. But I would say that I don't think that George Bush Jr. guy is actually as dumb as he's acting. He's playing up some sort of a role, and then boom, this Mac Daddy, long-legged Mac Daddy, Barack Obama, came on the scene. And see, that traumatized a lot of people. They don't want to deal with the Barack Obama for eight years. And I mean, I mean it was, it's, it's more corruption of the same, and other people were just worshiping the guy. 
for me as an independent, it was tough going through the Obama year. You don't like Obama, you want to race it. Now we're in a new era where if you don't like Trump, you're considered liptard. It's the same vibrational frequency mindset, just a different flavor of cola. These are really difficult years. So subscribe to this channel if you're new. Let's take a look at some of the content of this report. After face-to-face -face talks that we're supposed to believe are real with Russian President Vladimir Putin, Mr. Trump contradicted U.S. intelligence agencies and said there had been no reason for Russia to meddle in uh, the vote. And, and I don't really want to get None of this even seems real. The interaction, any of it, this is all a show. You know, we, we have these uh, hearings that are taking place right now about these indictments. These are staged, managed events on the chessboard of life, leading us to the staged, managed hot war. And that's what's being brought out in the media. And there are those players in the media. And, and you know, I, I don't have all the answers as to how this... Uh, how this works, right? But it's just that you use your intuition, you listen to the sound of the voice of some of these reporters on CNN, as well as Fox News, and they are playing up this big time war drum to something, to some big event. Whether they're fully conscious of it, right? That they're agents of, uh, of influence. Like I've wondered about that for years. Whether some of the people that are involved in this actually know that they're servants of this global enterprise or whether they just believe their own BS. And, and you can't discount the amount of people that will believe their own BS because they've picked a side in the left-right divide. And that's gonna manifest. That's gonna manifest in some very extreme ways. It's not just people down in the street uh, that, that are fighting, that, 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 are, that are expressing some extremist left and right worldviews. There are some extreme left and right uh, talking heads that are in the mainstream media. And the alternative media, it, it, it's a product of uh, the day and age that we're in. So the greater reality is there are close ties between the United States and Russia. This is, this is not something new, right? But this is being played up for a number of different reasons. Maybe they will use uh, the idea of, oh, I don't know, uh, impeaching the president. Or try and do our discussions about it in order to... Uh, drum up some sort of uh, reactionaryism, anger, right, within society. You know, take close note of how the mainstream media is reporting on certain things, and there's enough fire out there to amp up people on both sides. So I'll keep you updated as this and other stories progress.